get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Held Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's in my bow. With me, I've got British champion Liam Williams. We're here in Wales at the press conference day ahead of this Saturday's show. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, good. Really good. Good. Firstly, can I get a reaction to the disappointing news that Armit Patterson sustained an injury in his sort of in his in his outside his camp in the build up to this? We've seen the pictures via the Twitter. What, what's your initial reaction to that? Uh yeah, obviously disappointed. I prepared for Armit and um, you know, it was gonna be a really good fight. I was expecting a tough fight. Um, but, you know, in a way, it's better for me because I get to fight for another belt now, which I'm happy about. So, um, opponent's pretty unknown. I haven't really seen Laura on him, but um, I'm experienced enough to work that out now. Quite disappointed from Armit Patterson, I know, from your point of view, you was expecting that fight, as we said. Yep. And it seems like that fight, it, it doesn't, doesn't, that fight doesn't want to take place. It's nah. been scheduled and scheduled thus far, and it just seems yeah, to be... Yeah, it's just one of the things, is, it happens a lot in boxing. Um, Injuries happen so easy and whatever, but obviously with him it was a, a different story being attacked and whatever. And um, I just just hope he hope he recovers soon and goes well soon. Indeed, let's talk a little bit about Gorbix. As we mentioned, you're going to be fighting for the WBO European title. A chance to add another strap to your haul. Yeah. How how sort of how pleased are you that that's, this has come about after that Spurs situation and circumstances? Yeah, obviously they've done really well to um, put it together on short notice. Frank and everybody else in the office. Um, I'm over the moon, obviously, I get five for another belt, and um, yeah, I'd add another one to the collection, and you know, it's growing slowly but surely. Have you seen much of Gorbix? What, what do you know about him as a fighter? I haven't seen one video of him. I'm Is that a worry? You've not, you're not sort of up to date on him as an opponent? Uh, it's not really. I'm, at the end of the day, I'm experienced enough now to, um, to go in there and see where he go. Like, you know, I've gone around gym sparring a lot of people who mm. I've never seen in my life before and just take a round or two, see where they go, see how they react, and um, just go from there. With the Box Nation BT Sport link up, potentially so many shows next year, and no doubt Wales will be a big part of that, does that add more pressure on you to, to turn in a good performance on Saturday and keep, keep winning, so to speak? Uh, not because of that. Um, I always put pressure on myself to, to perform well because I always, I always expect it all of myself. So, um, yeah, I'm always under the same pressure, really. Again, you've been spoke about in huge, huge respect in terms of the, the Cotto fight potentially down the line. Are you excited? Do you, do you allow yourself to think about them sort of things? Yeah, can't stop thinking about it, but then again, I always have to, you know, pinch myself and remind, remind myself that, you know, I am where I am and I still got other jobs to do first. Mm. So so I, um, if I could wave a magic wand and give you either Cotto or Andrade in early 2017, who, who would be your preference? Cotto. Definitely. Re reasons yeah. for that? Just, um, you know, obviously Cotto, I've always looked up to Cotto and he's a massive name. So it's just a fight I love, but not only I think Andrade, is a, he's an harder fight as well. He's, you know, he's uh, probably a little bit more skillful. He's long, uh, seems to be able to punch pretty hard. But, you know, if, if I, then again, if I was offered that fight, I'd, I'd take it tomorrow. Do you think the Liam Smith fight's still potentially there? Do you think that could be a big fight for next year? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, as long as I get a, get a good win Saturday, I'm hoping you know another, another big title will come up. And then who's to say that you know maybe middle of next year me and Liam Smith can't fight each other for um, you know a vacant title or um, you know maybe even me winning the winning and defending against them. Be a massive fight, and obviously he's he's up for him as well. And um, be great selling fight, definitely. Do you think that fight needs some sort of title with, with Liam Smith already being, being the world champion, sort of had that experience? Do you think it needs a belt to, to make it appealing for both sides? Yeah, of course. Um, I think I think it, it, it you know it shouldn't be a non-title fight. It's definitely a um, it's definitely a, a big title fight, and it deserves more than to just be you know just a 10, 10 rounder or whatever. So. Last message to all your friends and family and sponsors before we go, mate. Just thanks for all the all the continued support and 
make sure you come and watch or tune in to Box Nation Saturday. Top man, best of luck with your fight. Thank you very much for your time, Liam. Appreciate Cheers, it. Mate. Thanks.